Today, I'd like to share with you a glimpse of、uh, my opinion of what role EDA should play during the era of system of chips, and that is going to be we're going to have to be the catalyst of design. Now, I wanted to look back and dream forward, so I talked to two mentors who happen to be on this audience as well. So I asked one mentor, "So, what is it like to design circuit before I was born?" <laughs> Turns out, you have to cut holes. Into films, nineteen seventies, <laughs> and I asked another mentor of mine, I'm like, you know, what is that you want in your wildest dreams about creating the chip? Well, I want Alexa to make a chip for me. Now, we're gonna not get into the business of predicting the future because that conversation will never end. I'm so glad to be here to discuss the question mark, which is, what do we do today in order to dream forward? Now. To me, it's all about the new SOC, which is system of chips. That is 3D IC or chiplets, however you want it. This is how creation gets done. Designers start with a menu of options to explore in order to optimize the performance and cost. Then you go through this end-to-end -end journey from early spec to fully finished product, and you want to actually make it robustly, time zero quality. In the field, debuggability and optimization are all important.、Right? This is what it means to creation of a chip or the new SOC. Now, here's an example of how it can possibly be done in one particular case. So, there are multiple building blocks to traverse the exploration, designing, and manufacturing journey. Now, I wanted to really say two things here. One, no one person or no one company can I really accomplish. Everything, even for synopsis, right? There are certain areas that we don't really fully cover, right? Those are the things where we partner with the folks here, manufacturing, other EDA companies, chip makers, system makers, academia, and government. Well, the second thing I want to share is that once you make the chip, it's not done yet. You better be able to deploy it safely and in a secure manner. I really think that 2021 was a great year. I see a lot of opportunities. Right, I see that a product has been released based on heterogeneous integration of chiplets connected by wires. I see that super monolithic devices are being combined together in a monolithic process, and I see research results are being discussed where you combine the best of two things: right, monolithic integration or super monolithic integration, and heterogeneous integration. Technology is going to give us wings to innovate faster and better, and I believe that industry at this point is trending from the present phase to the great future. From a market point of view, we're seeing that a lot of applications are emerging above and beyond data centers, whether it's gaming or self-driving cars. And from a design perspective, a lot of important front-end problems, right? Meaning architecture planning. Meaning standardization, meaning material selection, thermal power management, are experiencing a transition from what it is today to what will be tomorrow. Now, there's one thing that's specifically probably relevant to this particular panel or the chapter is design or co-design. Architecture has been somewhat semi-quantitative. What needs to happen is that we have to account for electrical, photonic, mechanical, and thermal. System level co-design and co-optimization problems, and toward the back back end the design journey, a lot of other things come up, in terms of metrology variation and verification. In particular, I wanted to emphasize that we are at a time where supply chain is getting complicated, and it's not just a buzzword. We have to have security and trust when we move not only the chips but also the data around. And in my view. It has transitioned from the present state of this being a design and manufacturing problem to a full life cycle problem, where artificial intelligence better help more. So, what is it that that I think we as a ecosystem or team should do together?、Uh, this is my naive thought, right? It's probably not right. It's probably not wrong, but I really like to use this as a starter or greater. Discussion next. I really think that we should drive simplification, standardization, and systems for 
the field of uh, heterogeneous integration. In particular, we need to make it very clear and simple what manufacturing operate options are available to designers, chip designers, system designers, today and future, because that enables easier and hence more, a greater number of design starts. Standardization. Well, we have a great deal of standardization today, but there needs to be more. Essentially, let's establish models and views of connectors and substrates for both early exploration and later stage detailed design. You know what you get out of that? Because you're able to create implementation faster with fewer surprises later. And systems. At the end of the day, we're not making wires. We're not creating substrates. We're creating better products that work better, that make people happy, that may last longer. So we need to provide, we as a community, we as an ecosystem, we as an industry need to provide a system level methodology for exploration, design analysis, and life cycle management. So I added the following slide because there was an interesting discussion yesterday at the NIST round table about sort of the role of EBA. Well, I really believe that the future should be better chips done faster by more people. And EDA's job is to catalyze the next 1000X of integration density, better product in a particular form, energy delay product reduction, and more people being able to create chips. I will say that one thing that I changed that word of will from should to will about five minutes before this, because I was listening to the sessions yesterday and today. You guys, right, this team has given me so much confidence. I think it's not a matter of should catalyze the next 1000X. I think we will have to do it. And I like to learn from you during the rest of this panel and the sessions and work with you to create the catalyzation of the next 1000X. Thank you.